And how is everybody doing this Friday morning? It's about to be Friday afternoon here in a minute, but how the hell is everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we are going to talk about how the Today Show fat shamed all of America this morning. They fat shamed nearly the entirety of America. Um, and, uh, I'm waiting for the woke mob to come destroy them. It's not really going to happen. But uh, they did, in fact, uh, fat shame most of America. Uh, I'm kind of flabbergasted by it. I don't even know what to say. It's just this horrible, horrible, horrible thing that uh, people should be so upset about. Fat shaming is such a horribly real thing, right? Um, let's see. Uh, we are going to go here. I'm going to say hi to everybody. Um, how did they do this? I will be showing you. It's kind of funny. I don't even know. They might have taken it down already. Did they take it down already? No. Give me a second. How you doing, Lisa? How you doing, suspicious bird? Hey, Ellen, I'm surprised you're not railing against the trans push. I got nothing against trans people. I really, I, I have, you know, let people, let, let, let your, let your flag fly, whatever you want. I mean, the only thing I really, and I have been, by the way, I've, I've been like, you, you should check me out on Twitter, bud. Uh, I mean, uh, suspicious bird. Uh, my thing about that is, is I don't care what you do as long as you're not trying to hurt anybody else or you're trying to like en encroach upon anybody else. Uh, I had a video, I believe it was yesterday uh, on Instagram and on Twitter that will explain to you what I think about, uh, about stuff like that. So I, and again, uh, I, I have no, I, I really don't, I don't have any problem with people when I like identify however they want, do whatever they really want. I'm good with it. Um, I can oh, like, say that uh, what is this this is i can't believe i think they actually took down the post that i was going to talk about today um wow uh let me see here um They were talking about the sit to stand test. Uh, give me one second. Give me one more second. I'm like amazed that I think they took it down. No kidding. Let me pull up my history. That wasn't it. This is crazy. They took it down. They, I kid you not, they took it down. Unbelievable. I'm so, I am amazed that they took it down. Hang on a second. Let me share it with you. This is from the Today Show. This link is from the Today Show. I cannot believe they took it down. I am so, like, it was up for just a few hours. And basically it was the... It's because they, it was because they were talking about fat people. We are in a, we are in a clown world. We are in a clown world. This was literally, I found the article, but no, uh, but uh, the site has no evidence. This is insanity. I am, I am, I, I am completely blown away by the ridiculousness of this. Um, also, as another ridiculousness, Crystal and I, just for this live, are offering thirty three percent off a three month block of coaching. So grab that because. Spots are filling up in a hurry. Um, 
just for this. Why the fuck would they take it down? They took it down because it hurt people's fifis. That's why. Because people are massively, massively weak. Uh, weak, weak, weak. Um, sit to stand today show. Okay, this is on the Today Show. All right. Aha, we got it. They took it off Instagram. I can I'm so it's I'm I'm I am crazy. What's up, motivators? Don't do that. I, I Steven, don't do that. These are just people. I I I don't like I don't like when when uh when don't please don't do that. And I I appreciate you, but I don't like. There was a big thing years ago where everybody was naming their audience motivators or this or that. Fuck that shit. I'm Alan Roberts. I'm just some dude who has knowledge about a particular topic and opinions about other shit. There's, I mean, the people like all of you. I'm just a fucking dude who is crazy enough to say the shit that society doesn't want people to say, basically. So everybody here, like the, the, I, the, the naming of stuff, and this is just a tangent. I'm sorry. I've, I've, I'm, 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 in, I'm fucking super fucking. Oh, wait. I've actually recorded the screen when watching some videos, so I have proof it exists. Becky, thank you very much. Is awesome sauce running? Saucy. Vince here. Um, I found it on their website, I believe. This is from March 8th. This was from two days ago. They are very, they try these simple DIY heart health hacks. So heart health checks. So we are going to check out their heart health checks. Uh, boom. This is... A bunch of crazy people, frankly. And one more second. There we go. Uh, did you see the huge shit show in Loudoun County, Virginia cover up? Yes, I did. But I'm not going to talk about that on here. What video are we talking about? Sorry, I'm trying to keep up. We're talking about this video right here from the Today Show. Yeah. Let's see what they say. Is this the one? Let me see here. I don't even think this is the one. This isn't it. Oh, wait, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so let's do the whole thing. Today's show, what's up, my fuckers? I hope you all have a great day. You people are horrible, by the way. I mean, like, complete propaganda. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Just because you get one right doesn't mean you get a pass. This morning in today's checklist, we're showing you how to take control of your health right at home. Annual doctor's visits are important, but there are also some... Okay, annual doctor's visits are... Oop. Annual doctor's visits are important. I thought I closed you guys. Annual doctor's important are... Annual doctor visits are important. You should get your blood work done, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um... Uh, do understand that, and I'm going to do a whole bit about this, right? Do understand, not right now, but we do need to talk about informed consent in society because they've removed it, right? They've, they've literally removed informed consent in the last couple of years. Um, but your doctor should be able to explain to you every little thing that they talk to you about in terms and vernacular that you understand. Uh, so do go to the doctor, but make sure that they explain very clearly to you what, what, the, what they mean. And you were saying, I mean, companies making uh, making being trans trendy, big pharma. Eh, I mean, it's it's ridiculous, all of it. So,
One, give me one second, guys. I've, I've, I've got a client issue that I always try to take care of first. So my my apologies, guys, but I have, I have clients first, always. So let me check in here. Mm -hmm. One more second, guys. I'm so sorry about this, but and I, I had somebody complain about this the other day. Hey, people, listen. I don't care. Like, I, mean, I'm t I take care of the people that take care of me and my clients first and all that. If you want my undivided attention, even on these things, you can get coaching um, because I'm just not going to, you know. I'm just not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm not going to sacrifice the people that pay me to make sure that I take care of them. I'm, I'm just, it's not, it's not, it's not happening. Um, okay, here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think we got that taken care of. And to the client, if they're, if you're watching, thank you very much. And, uh, I always first, always first. YouTube doesn't pay you because you swear your clients do. Exactly. And by the way, they're going to pay me less. Uh, we, we'll be talking about that. We might literally have to do like a membership thing or something like that if, to make YouTube fucking viable. But uh, I don't care, like I said, but I'm, you know, I'm still a businessman trying to make money. Anyway. DIY health checks we should all be doing regularly. Here to tell us all about it, NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Natalie Azar. Good morning. Good morning, Jill. And we have Marina here for us. So let's start with blood pressure. Yeah. Now we've all had this done at the doctor's yes. office, but who should be doing it at home? And what's the right way to do it? Yeah, so the American Heart Association recommends that if you are on blood pressure medication, you're a high blood pressure patient, that you can check your blood pressure at home. So we're gonna demonstrate on Marina. One thing that I would like to point out is that generally we want to have the forearm resting on a surface. You will notice sometimes when the nurse takes your blood pressure in the office, they hold your yeah. arm sort of in the crook of, of the waist. You want the, the cuff to be at the same level as the heart. What's important to remember is that you want to do a couple of readings, one to two minutes apart, at the same time every day. It's also really important that you don't want to drink caffeine or smoke or exercise in the 30 minutes before you do your blood pressure, because guess what? It, it'll, it'll be a little, it'll be falsely elevated. The other things that I always want to make. This is ridiculous. Um, let me let me go farther on. I wish I could speed it up. Understand is that if you're checking your blood pressure at home, make sure it matches up with the blood pressure taken at your doctor's office. So if you do it every day, like around 10 o'clock. The next time you're at the doctor's office at 10 o'clock, make sure it's calibrated so that you actually get a good measurement. So, so, how so they want you to take your blood pressure every day. Um, no. Um, unless you have some sort of blood pressure issue, why stress yourself that much? But I don't understand how that even gets to be a thing. Um, why stress yourself that much? That is crazy talk, uh, if you ask me. A complete out of bounds ridiculousness. Uh, I, I, I wish. Did I get blocked for what? I don't know. You didn't. Marina, Marina, she's 127 over 91. I was a little high before as well. And guess what? You're a little bit nervous, right? Normal blood pressure is. So, oh, wait, what? 120, uh, below 120 over 80. So, Marie Normal blood pressure now is between 120 over 80. Normal blood pressure about uh, five to 10 years ago was 130 over 90. 120 over 80 helped them sell a lot more blood pressure medication because it entered up. Millions more people became all of a sudden have possible high blood pressure. Okay. And this is, that is not even a, that is not even, <laughs> that's not speculation. That's what happened. The, this got lowered 
heart disease, high blood pressure, and all of that has continued to go up. So us putting more people on blood pressure medication has not, in fact, helped with high blood pressure as a comorbidity. This is the issue. They are set like, so now you have to buy a blood pressure cuff to take your blood pressure every single day. Now, when it says you have high blood pressure, which almost invariably is going to say that everybody has high blood pressure, 120 over 80, 120 over 80, you're at the doctor's office, you're nervous. The doctors make you nervous. You know why? Well, in the last three years, they've shown to be complete fucking idiots. But also beyond that, they want, they, they're going to find something. They are going to find something, period. We will check it. Below one did you have coffee this morning? Did you have coffee? It's the show. Oh, so I had coffee this morning. What's the turning of it? Like, I love how it's like, okay, we need to make this woman feel better because we have her taking her blood pressure, like on like on live TV. But all of a sudden, uh, you know, um, but all of a sudden, we we, you know, we don't want to shame her. So, uh, whoops. Oh, okay. All right, boom, 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 boom. all right, here we go. Now. I know, I never yeah. am high. I was and, high yeah. all day. I was drinking coffee right before exactly. we come here. Right. Exactly. Okay. All the no-nos. Um, heart rate and oxygen. So I love how they're just talking about like all the, like so we drink coffee right before you hit, get here. So if you drink coffee, you're going to have high blood pressure. Here's your blood pressure medication. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. A lot about this during the COVID-19 pandemic. It measures your heart rate and it can measure your blood oxygen level. And look, Dylan appropriately doesn't have any nail polish on. That is ideal. Well, my mom um, will be upset that I have <laughs> um, so heart Your mom will be upset you're not putting toxic stuff on your nails every single day. This is how society has trained women to poison themselves over time. Society, society encourages women to, in fact, poison themselves over time. It's ridiculous. Normal heart rate is between 60 and 100. Mm -hmm. This is good for people who maybe are on heart rate lowering medication or if you're feeling a little funny, you want to check your heart rate. I cannot do this segment without mentioning the issue with pulse oximeters and individuals with darker skin. This mm -hmm. has been known for many decades. The FDA is aware of it. What can happen? What is what are your I didn't say? Turn it on. Oh, you didn't turn it on. Step what one. can happen? Turn Step on. One. This is a fucking clown show. Turn on the machine. <laughs> what can happen is that if you have darker skin, the pulse ox can actually overestimate how much oxygen you have in your blood. So until we have pulse oximeters that are calibrated to every skin type, I would recommend if you're darker skin and you have a pulse. Racist! No, I'm just It's fucking biology, you know? By the way, this this is the over medicalization of life in my opinion, of course, eat whole foods, get some sunlight, have good fucking sex, get plenty of fucking hydration, have good relationships in your fucking life and get exercise. Go to the doctor once a year to get your annual. If you have, if you are taking your pulse ox every single day, the only reason why I take my resting heart rate is because it's awesome and I get to brag about it. And frankly, it's for this stuff. I wouldn't take my resting heart rate. I don't take my resting heart rate every day. I take it like once a week. And my resting heart rate's in like, like right, right when I wake up, by the way, it's in like in the mid to high 40s. So them saying like between 60 and 100, 100 beats a minute for a resting heart rate is pumping. That's fucking moving. And by the way, most of these weight loss drugs, since we're worried about the resting heart rate, most of these weight loss drugs raise the person's resting heart rate about anywhere from uh, 8 to 10%. Socks. Measure it when you're healthy mm -hmm. so that you have something to compare to if you're not feeling well. Normal oxygen saturation on this is 95 to 100. Mm. What are I'm, you? I'm not coming up with anything. You're not coming up with anything, yeah. but guess what? I'm probably nervous. You are, are alive. Yeah, actually I know. Cold. You can Clown show. So, just in case anyone's wondering, I was normal. Okay. <laughs> so now what we're <laughs> going to do, Natalie, guess what we're going to do now? We are going to measure your heart rhythm. Put both, mm -hmm. put one finger on of each hand on okay. there and I am gonna press record your EKG. This is a home EKG monitor. Okay. This is for somebody who, for example, might have a history, and it's 30 seconds. Is it going? 
great signal, it says. So, so okay, far, so good. 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 Um, this, is, this would be for someone who maybe has a history of atrial fibrillation and arrhythmia. Mm -hmm. Their doctor says, you know, measure your rhythm. Again, ideally within, like, you know, not within an hour or two mm -hmm. of exercise or something like that. I have to also say, always important, that if you're feeling sick or you're not feeling well, um, that and you're lightheaded or dizzy, don't right. just check this. Please, you know, Go call 911 or call yes. your doctor for some reason. It's not That's really cool. I've never we might heard have, of this. I know, I know. We, we actually I know, I know. It's something new for you to buy. We've never heard of it. We're selling it right now. We're, we're, we're selling it right now. You should get it right now. So you can get a home EKG of you to stress about your fucking health all the goddamn time. Do you know what, who doesn't need these shit? People that live a healthy lifestyle. It is what it is. Jesus. Actually, we may not have a, a okay. good Wi-Fi signal, but again, okay. Dylan is alive. I'm actually dead. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> circum but we, know we haven't dealt with that. So okay. the Today Show doesn't have a good Wi-Fi signal. That's outstanding. I mean, just let us talk about your health on live television. Why would we want to torture ourselves if okay. we are waste to torture okay. ourselves? Okay. So, uh, you want to do, yeah, do it. Okay. okay. So we're checking waist circumference because you might have a normal BMI and be, quote, unquote, a normal weight. Yeah. But if you have excess. Oh, I bet you she's taking shit for the, quote, unquote, normal weight thing. Fat around the middle. Yeah, That's the visceral fat. Okay. That actually dramatically increases your risk for heart disease. For women, you would like this to be. Uh, not greater than 35 inches. 35 okay. or above is considered a risk factor for but heart disease. But I'm 4'11", so I feel like mine should be, I'm 31. No, it should you're be, right. You know they I mean? probably should sort of make it a... They do. They probably should. They fucking do. It's called waist to height ratio. Who the fuck is this quack? Jesus fucking Christ. Like, I feel like it should be, of course it fucking should be. Let me, let, like... A thing Something. based on height, and for men, it's forty inches or above. Okay, but this is really important. I don't want waist to height ratio is more predictive than even BMI for long term problems and shit like that. This this woman's four eleven. Her waist to height her waist to height ratio is thirty one divided by uh, fifty nine. She's fat. Uh, she, she's morbidly like she, she's a 0.52. So she, no, nah, 0.52. She's all right. She's not fat. She's okay. She's in there. Did I get that right? 31 divided by and 48 plus 1269. So she's a little overweight by waist to height ratio. I'm not going to call her fat. To understate how important it is. Really? Last one. Okay. We're going to do this. Our how important it is when she didn't even realize that they have a waist to height ratio that's been studied ad nauseum. Like, sad. Our, our researcher. By the way, that just fat shamed most of America. The average, the average woman has a waist, uh, waist of like thirty-seven and a half inches and five foot three inches tall, with a 0. 0.6. Uh, with this, the average waist height ratio in America for, in 2018 numbers for women was 0. 0.6, 0. 0.61 or something like that. And then for men, it's like 0. 0.5961 because the average male is fat as fuck, Homer Simpson looking, sloppy pieces of shit. Uh, that weigh about 200 pounds with a, you know, with five, nine, with a waist to height ratio of about 0.6 fucking patheticness. Now we're about to really fucking, uh, check this out. For Natalie is going to show us the sit to okay. stand test. Oh, if you can is, do this okay. without using your hands and your knees or your arms, what? you get a total of 10 points. Yay! I can do it. A study out in 2015, if you weren't able to do this, it, I know I can't do it with these shoes either. No. It, it, it's about agility and muscle strength. It's not just about aerobic. Can fitness. you do it, again? do it again? It's about core strength, mobility, agility, muscle strength, uh, proprioception, which is your body movement in space, those sorts of things. Like how, 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 how is she, is she an expert? But this fact shames most of America. M most Americans cannot do this. Most Americans cannot come close to doing this. And how? So wait. So what? if you can't do that, okay, you do have a higher risk of you know what in six years. Really? Based on a study from two of you know what? No, what? 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 The Today Show has to say you know what in six years. 
2015, which I'm not sure has been replicated. Do it. I want to try. You keep talking. Yeah, now I'm very kind of out of time. I know. I'm going to try to reverse it. I'll see everyone at home. Try it. Thank you so are much. so welcome. And that, that was Is there anything you can yeah, do to, to get that yeah. elevation of international yeah, down like that? Well, you can no, Sad. That's patheticness. That is out and out patheticness. All right. We got a lot of time to talk about all sorts of other stuff, but I did want to tell everybody, um, boom, 33% off live deal. That's for right now. 33% off deal for our three months worth of coaching and 33% off for, uh, a, uh, Ah, fuck, that's not going to work. Give me a second. Boom. Why is that not working? Huh. It's like they don't want to take my links. All right, they're working. It's still working. Okay, good. So we have a 33% off deal for our coaching and a 33% off deal for a consultation. So please do grab those. Consultation will be with myself or for Chris or, or for Crystal. Uh, what a joke they I mean, I that was first of all, is pathetic. I'm very disappointed that they removed it from Instagram. That is patheticness. That is just weakness. I wish I would have screen recorded. And Becky, can you send me the screen recording you have to uh, my uh, Twitter, the MFing COO. If you're not following me on here, like that's the thing. We had people ask, like, what do you think about this? Like, if you followed me on Twitter, you'd know what I thought about it. But um, just insanity. Uh, let's so let's go over some Q and A and ask questions about this statements, anything. We can, we've got about a half an hour to talk. Let's fucking talk. Uh, I'm more of a beast, but I can do it. Good for you. Good for you. Keep working at it. You got it. We got this. Most people can't do the sit to stand test, even though beast twenty something struggle. I mean. It's one of the things I bring up all the time. Would you be able to take care of yourself in an emergency? If you can't get up off the ground, you know, in a quick fashion, no, you, you can't. I mean, uh, you are you are a burden on society. Obesity is a burden on society. We're, we're, we need we need to start uh, start going along with it. So, uh, There we go. Um, let's see. I hate TV. I hear you. Wondering if you do at-home coaching where people just uh, can use whatever equipment they have at home. Absolutely, Annie. Um, and the, we uh, we build like whatever you have at home, whatever you have access to. We build uh, we build your program from the ground up for coaching. Um, so we have basic templates, but then we move stuff depending on on which person's. Uh, what they have. Crystal builds complete stuff from scratch for people uh, all the time. So yes, we absolutely do. We, I mean, we have clients, you, you understand, we have clients that range from like, we have uh, people that compete in strongman and people that are literally just trying to lose 300 pounds. We have people that are competitive athletes and other people that like literally are in wheelchairs. We mold everything individually to the person. You can do it at any age of fit. You absolutely can. I can do it, but I definitely wouldn't have to uh, have been able to years ago. Sam, that's great. That's great. Uh, what's the, you know what, with a heart attack, death, which one? I mean, it's so fucking amazing. Okay, just went and tried this. Yay for me, no problem. Elizabeth, that's outstanding. That's why I do planks and kettlebell swings. It's awesome. Alan, when do you think someone can start trying to, 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 uh, to not calorie track, scale, count, everything else, and just eyeball? I would, for a long time, I would get to the point where you're like, it's it's meaningless. You know what I mean? I would get to the point where you're just like, eh, I, I know what's in everything. Like, as you're putting stuff into the tracker, and by the way, if you pay for a meal tracker, um, like if you pay $25 a month or $30 a month for a meal tracker, you can literally just join our app. Um, you can pay for a consultation once a month and use our, I will give you a consultation once a month and you can use our app to track things. Our app works just as good as any fitness or as any um, 
uh, meal tracker, macro tracker that I have seen. Um, it is quite amazing. And the cla- and it also comes with live and pre-recorded yoga classes. Tomorrow, if you wanted to buy a consultation t- today, tomorrow we're doing a live Q&A just for the people in the hunger management support group. We're going to start doing those probably uh, at, you know, a couple times a month. So if you are paying extra for a meal tracking app, you can get one of our get a consultation. Uh, at, that's at thirty three percent off. That'll actually be less expensive than a lot of people pay for their meal tracking app. And you get to track meals, and you get live and pre recorded classes, and you get uh, the hunger management support group and stuff like that. So I would check that stuff out. Uh, well, doing it from laying down is way easier. Yes, I hate that there's it's so common uh, to be so physically incapable. It's patheticness. Like. Uh, I did a video earlier of this uh, this clown, Samaria, because she's a clown. Uh, and she she, try, she tries to talk like she's like Barack Obama and Martin Luther King connected about fat phobia, though, uh, with the made up bullshit that is fat phobia. I'm um, saying that, you know, fat obese people need protected from society. Society needs protected from fat people. You guys are literally destroying our society. People that are not trying to be healthy, that just say... Uh, protect me from me. The largest consumption comes from obese people. Like it, we need to get there. So just wanted to say, just wanted to share that my husband started no morbidity six days ago and is already three pounds down. He said the morning after taking his first dose that he felt no hunger. Bam! Hell yeah, hell yeah! And by the way, you can get no morbidity. Matter of fact, let me get all these things up here. You can get no morbidity. Right here. Along with it. Non-stimulant, non-stimulant, based appetite suppressant. Thousands of people are being helped by this. So exciting. So exciting. Thank you for no morbidity. You are very welcome. Eight years ago, I started li- uh, weightlifting with a, a jug of cat litter. That's, it's weight. It's resistance, right? Uh, for calorie deficit, is it the best way to stop? It, it, for calorie deficit, is it the best way to stop muscle loss? Just eating enough protein and making sure that you progressively overload. I'm 270, trying to get the 180, but I have solid muscle. I don't think you should worry about it. You're 270 pounds. You should, you know, one thing at a time. You are not going to lose that much muscle mass if you have a high protein diet and you keep and you keep working out. There, you just you should be way more focused on getting the 90 pounds off of you that you need to get off of you. Way, way, way more focused. So uh, make sure that you're that that's where you you look at because you are you need to lose some weight. Uh, they clapped because she stood up. Society standards are so low. I mean, for real, it's 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 so sad. Hello, all. Order no morbidity for the first time. Excited to try. That's what I like to hear. Hell yeah! Get at it. Get at it. Get at it. Increasing, uh, my, I'm increasing my water right now and focusing on steps. Good for you. Crystal is amazing. I, I'm mostly in a ca- uh, camper and she made one to fit my situation. I'm telling you, she can, like, my wife is a fucking genius when it comes to this stuff. She can be like, just talk to the person. They'll send, the, the client will send pictures of the equipment they have. And then like a, di- like a day later, they've got like this fucking program written for them. Then she progressively overloads. It's crazy. How much protein ensures someone is uh, is losing fat and not muscle? Nothing ensures it because it's a it's a, a matter of your hormones and stuff like that too. I would suggest you get in a, a gram of protein per pound of body mass as a minimum when you're when you're losing weight. That way, it satiates you uh, and more. Frankly, you should be eating uh, like I will I will eat two I will eat well over a gram of protein per pound of my body mass today. It'll be the predominant form of uh, macronutrients, that and fat. Um, fat will be the most calories, then protein, and then carbs are much, much, much lower. Every time I see an obese person riding a motor scooter at Walmart, I repeatedly tell myself I refuse to be that in the future. That's good. Might have to check out the app. Thank you very much. Please do. And I'm telling you, uh, you know, we, uh, if I was just told recently that people are like, yeah, I'm having to pay X amount of dollars uh, for <laughs> Uh, for uh, my tracking app, like well, our fucking app does that shit. You know, our app, our app does it. So let's see if that one worked. Anyway, 
How do you recommend dealing with friends in social situations with people who are pushing food? I tell them to fucking stop doing it and get the fuck away from me. Be a, here's the thing. Be willing to stand on your own because you, at the end of the day, if your, fr- if your friends are pushing food on you, are they going to be the ones wiping your ass if you're morbidly obese? Are they going to be the ones taking care of you? No, they're not. So tell them to fuck off. And if they don't like it, have them fuck off and get new friends. Any, anybody, that, anybody, that is tr- anybody that willfully tries to get in your way of trying to be as healthy and happy for your longevity as humanly possible is not a fucking friend. They're just somebody that wants you in their circle so they, they can use you, in, is, is my opinion, of course. I saw a lady the other day with about, uh, was about to collapse just walking from her car to the entrance of the Walmart and had to stand there for about, uh, they're about to fall over because there was no scooter available. Crazy. So my question to them is, who's doing, uh, who's doing all the fat shaming with two-thirds of the population being obese? And other, uh, it's other fat people, not the thins, as they say. No, nah, I mean... They, they don't want, it's like people don't want to be reminded at all that they have fucked their life up. They don't. I mean, if you're morbidly obese to a certain degree, you fucked some shit up. I was morbidly obese. I was fucking shit up. I'm, if, I, if I would have kept going, I probably wouldn't be alive right now. For real. So, I mean, people don't want to admit that shit. I started Nectar two weeks ago. It's been incredible for my energy during long runs. Jamie, I'm very happy to hear that. I love Nectar. We've got like four different flavors in the fucking house. Uh, and we're hopefully going to be working on our own. You let me know politely and uh, let them know politely and firmly if they just keep doing it, just cut them out. I mean, seriously, fucking get rid of them. Fucking exchange them. Hello, everyone from uh, Playa del Carmen, Mexico. What's up? I live in Costa Rica and can't get no morbidity, but my in laws are visiting, so ordered Nomo and Ember. Excited to get soon. That is awesome. Costa Rica should, I, I, I think from Tiger Fitness, when we restock there, you should be able to get it at Tiger Fitness. So I'll check that out for you. Um, Christina, could you possibly send me, um, uh, or everybody, uh, every, everybody Nutrition sells No Morbidity too, and they might ship to Costa Rica. So I'll try to come up with these other links. Or Vitamin Shop. I don't know if you have any Vitamin Shops there. I drink water every time it's, men- it's mentioned on TV or in real life. That's awesome. You can't spot reduce? No, you can't. Hey, Alan, uh, what's a fairly accurate DIY, D, do yourself uh, way to check the body fat? Eye it up. It's not that important. I mean, it's 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 a variance anyway, depending on hydration and all sorts of stuff. It is not that important. You know, I, I like the, the 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 old adage of can you pinch an inch? You know, I mean, that was when I was growing up. Now people are like, oh, my God, you're fat shaming. Now people can pinch yards. Like, imagine, you know. Do the pinch and inch challenge, uh, you know, for like glitter and lasers, like, you know. You're welcome. I keep it simple and just eat mostly protein. Just keep it simple. It's just easier. It's just easier to do it that way. Way easier. Um, let's see. I drag my friends to the gym on hikes on 5Ks. Uh, I'm getting a reputation. The reputation of looking out for their fucking health and wanting to do fun shit. And if they don't view it that way, tell them the fuck off. Uh, just got the app and it's really nice uh, layout and links to your Fitbit and Apple Watch easily. That's awesome. And we're doing a new thing where the signing up for the classes will be right on your dashboard too. So you get to see what classes are coming up and all like that. We're, we're, uh, we used to have an external link that we would send people to. Now we're having the internal one. It's so fucking cool. So fucking cool. Crystal's amazing. Anything can be fat shaming now, so it's all in their own heads. I completely agree. I love when they uh, rely on the cart for mobility. It's sad. It's sad. Funny story. I had some blood work done. Results came back and triglycerides were finally back to normal after being too high and no longer anemic. I had to increase my meat intake to cut down on and cut down on carbs. Most people, most people should dramatically cut down on carbs and and massively increase uh, and massively increase their other intakes. Massively, massively increase their other intake. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to play in a few days. Cool. Uh, so scary how being the one fit person in a room makes you an outlier. You truly fit people are. Like truly fit people are probably less than 5% of the population. Like 
we're probably 85% overweight or obese. I would say 10, uh, 10 more percent of those people are either uh, underweight or sarcopenically obese, meaning like, or, uh, or are viscerally obese, meaning while they're at a normalized weight, they're still obese by waist to height, waist to height measurement. Like their waist is big. They're, they just have low muscle mass everywhere else, almost worse. Um, we had just live in an unhealthy society that thinks the pharmaceutical pharmaceuticals are going to save you. And that's just not the fucking truth. Uh, it's just not the truth. All right, Amy, we'll talk soon. Uh, I went, uh, I went from punching hit, uh, handfuls to nothing, pinching handfuls to nothing. Good. Do you have an, an opinion on the cosmetic spas that have the lipo shots? Do you think they work? I don't have much of an opinion. The lipo shots, I don't, really don't think work. I um, mean, if they do, um, I just, wow. Uh, so if you are actually injecting something into you that is going to eat away the fat, I'm going to suggest that that's not a good thing uh, because that is, I mean, you, what, what chemical would do that? Uh, but no, I don't think much of those things at all. I really don't. Uh, I got some beef liver for us in the pup. Not sure I'm gonna going to like it, but I'm willing to try since everyone keeps saying it's a lot of nutri uh, nutritional value. We eat, I eat liver like once a week. I normally uh, pan sear it with bacon fat, and then I put some hot sauce on it. Love it. My mouth just watered. I'll have to see if somebody sells it directly. However, uh, with customs, we haven't had any luck. Oh, that's that I can understand. That I can understand. Um, even if not, but uh, automatically think I'm super fit, which is horrible because it's a false sense of fitness. Uh, you're, you're in good shape. Uh, so, I mean, uh, and Julian, definitely compared to the rest of the population. You work hard. You should be proud of yourself. Loose skin is battle scars. It proves that you did the work. I agree with that. Uh, is it true that fat cells never go away? They only shrink. Normally, that's I, I believe that's true. That fat cells die, and that's where actually the inflammation comes from. But for the most part, they just kind of like release the energy that's in them. Mm. Let's see. There's a there's a Doctor Who episode where there is a pill that makes your adipose tissue fall off and make, and come to life. Uh, it works so other people disappeared. Wow. I, I'm I'm not a Doctor Who fan, but and again, I just want to let everybody know. Ask whatever questions you want about anything. We'll just about anything because frankly i've pissed off a lot of people this week so uh anybody that's anybody that's got beef that's here come catch it uh, or come on and catch it i'm come catch it sounds a little weird um let's stay away from the weird shit um i remember that episode flat smiley face so what else we got going on? Uh, Alan, uh, love the vegan cheese vid. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. If you, if, if, by the way, if you don't understand what she's talking about, hang on. I'll actually send it over here. I'll send this over here, and then this is how all of you can, in fact, uh, go follow me on on uh, Twitter. Um, because I am having, a, I am letting it all hang out on Twitter. Like, just in case anybody's wondering, I am not fucking around on Twitter. Uh, I I say whatever the fuck comes to my mind. They have yet to delete me. I haven't even been blocked in a while uh, or been in trouble in a while. Um, so, but here is the link to the video that she was just talking about. Uh, where I talk about vegan cheese and how... Vegan cheese is vegan cheese is the cheese how trans women are to women. And it's nothing against trans women. If you want to be a trans woman, be a trans woman. I just think that like we need to uh, make sure we realize that they're not women. Because they're not. Because reality exists. No matter how much society tries to deny it right now. Reality exists. There's women and men. People can choose to try to transition to appear as the opposite of what they were born. It does not make them that thing. And as, as how I see it, it does not affect me in any other way than people try to now police my language about it and my beliefs about it. 
I have nothing. I have trans friends. <laughs> I am a huge Blair White fan. I would love, again, please tell her to come on this podcast, to come talk to me. I'm going to send her a message. But I have, I'm a huge fan of a lot of people that are trans. I grew up in a time where this was no big deal. There was literally a show called Bosom Buddies. Like, look it up. We this all this shit was settled long ago. Like, who do people think that? Why do people think that drag queens became like drag shows became popular? My generation. Why do people think that people like Elton John and other very seriously famous rich gay people became popular? Look at the fucking band Queen. Uh, I mean, I I've listened to every fucking thing they've ever written. You know, like one of my best friends, Jeff, did a fucking. Um, he did a cover of the, one of Queen's songs, and he's redneck as a motherfucker. Like, it's just ridiculous. But I refuse to let women be marginalized to the point where they don't actually have their own fucking space. So, if you, I mean, you can check all that out on Twitter. This is, we're going to talk about health right now. But anyway, I don't have Twitter, but I def, uh, but I did, but if I did, I'd definitely follow you. Well, Jack Blackman, if you have, uh, if you have Instagram, I'm just going to keep posting shit there until they delete me. And then I'll start another one. Anyway. Having gallbladder, gallbladder surgery Monday, I'm hearing body won't be metabolizing vitamin D and other fat-soluble vitamins. Any suggestion? Your body won't be won't be metabolizing vitamin D? You're, you need to talk to your doctor. You might need injectables. So, yeah, you, you might need injectables. So, It's the Oppression Olympics. It absolutely is. The Oppression Olympics is a great term for it. Uh, I just don't really don't really do social media. I have a fake uh, a fake book account, but never use it. I can't post on Facebook most of the time. They don't let me. They do not let me. And again, here is the link to my Twitter. And one more time for. These are the deals. These are the, the, the we have a few slots available. So get them while they last for this deal. I'm only doing so many. And ask questions away. Even ask ask if you have any uh, uh, if you have any uh, like individualized questions about nutrition or anything like that. Please do feel free to ask. I'm I'm down. So uh, I have no gallbladder and have great vitamin D levels. Take a supplement. That's what I was thinking. Uh, land designer. Thank you for your input, by the way. I appreciate it. I was thinking that uh, you know, supplemental should be, everybody should be supplementing vitamin D to begin with. If we would have just started uh, supplementing vitamin D in 2020, uh, sending out uh, 5,000, 10,000 IUs per day per person to everybody in the United States, it would have cost like, you know, a dollar a fucking person we sent it to uh, for the year, pretty much. Uh, and we could have avoided a lot of death and pain and sickness and stuff like that. Uh, almost the entire population in the United States is vitamin D deficient, unless you're working outside in the sun consistently. And uh, to a great degree, uh, they want you vitamin. Like they don't. It's not talked about by your healthcare professionals um, that almost everybody is vitamin D deficient, and it's one of the things that causes people to get colds and flu and everything like that much, much, much easier because they want to sell you the treatments and cures for colds and things like that. 100%. 100%. So, um, at least take 5,000 IUs if you live in a place like Canada. 5,000 IUs is what you should take if you live in Florida most of the year. In Canada, I would take 10. Thomas S., how are you? Uh, 10 minutes from Canada. That's uh, I would definitely definitely take that. Same here. There's a, a, a calcit, uh, calcitrol. It is a prescription active. Okay, good. Julian, uh, I'm pretty... Surprised that Elon Musk has made it a free platform. Why? That's why they wanted to attack him. You know? It, it, and just so everybody, like, we're live on Twitter right now, but if Elon Musk starts, you know, doing payouts for, for content, I'm just going to be nonstop content on Twitter because YouTube can suck my dick. Like, I have a second channel, Alan Roberts Uncensored. The video, the live video, and this video is getting broadcast there right now. Well, it was going to get broadcast there right now, too, but it, it now got another strike for me and a physician's assistant talking about medical facts yesterday. They took that fucking video down. 
Unfucking believable, right? Unbelievable. The chicken stew by a system of down perfectly summarizes American convenience culture. I'll have to check that out. Alan, you demand. Uh, you snap me out of my uh, idiotic self-indulgent stupor. I'm down 120 pounds, down to one medication from five, and I'm taking back everything I sacrificed on, my, on the altar of death and gluttony. Michael Sampson, dude, you're a fucking hero, bro. Like, I mean, I, I'm not the man. You're a fucking hero. I just said some shit that resonated with you. You did that shit. You're a fucking hero in our today's world. You absolutely should be super proud of yourself. Thank you so much for the for the kind words and compliment. But, dude, that's what a fucking hero looks like in our society today, right now. That's what a fuck. That's what a man that cares about himself, his family, his friends, society, the country, the environment looks like. That right there. That's heroic. I worry about trans women's mental health. You mean the, I, so do I. I'll just leave it at that. Anybody, like, I'm sorry, but like, society is mentally ill. We have people saying that they're 300 pounds and they're healthy. It's mental illness. Society will continue to suffer from what we allow. As long as we keep allowing people unchecked to talk ridiculous bullshit, they're going to talk more and more ridiculous bullshit. As long as social media slants for weakness, they slant for weakness. They want people believing they're victims as much as possible because then they can pull up drama. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. We are just weak as fucking shit. If I can destroy you with words and physically, you're my bitch. Period. If you are some fucking fat dude who wants to scream and yell at me from your fucking gaming chair, and when you stand up, you've got to fucking get help, and I can say words to fucking destroy you, or if you came at me physically, I could fucking mop the floor with you, you're my bitch. And we have a system, we have a, a world full of bitches right now. We have a world full of fucking boys that should be standing the fuck up to protect women. That's the fucking problem with society right now. We have a world full of fucking people with penises that want to fucking pretend like they're fucking scared and victims. Motherfucker, we're disposable. Our jobs are to be the fucking warriors. Our jobs are to go to goddamn war if somebody comes at our fucking family. Our job is to be the people that protect women and protect children. That's what we're fucking here for. Besides sperm donation, that's the only fucking thing we're good for, in my opinion, of course. We just got a bunch of fucking weak people. So if you're worried about trans women's mental health, I'll, if we worried about a lot of trans women's mental health, they wouldn't be trans women. Especially in today's world. So your kid is feminine. And all of a sudden, you want to make sure that they start transitioning to women because they're feminine. What if the kid's gay? We're, we're basically erasing women and gay people. Does everybody realize this? Like, there's this big push right now where if you're a lesbian and you don't date a trans woman, that you're a bigot. The whole point about being a lesbian is not doing the penis. Everybody understands this, right? Like we've gone so far over the tipping point that we're calling lesbians sexually prejudiced. What the fuck is wrong with you people? It's a clown world. You guys look so ridiculous. I mean, it, it, uh, that's why when people are like, oh no, you're going to get canceled. Fucking cancel the fuck out of me. Your, the opinion of people that are that fucking crazy and stupid means so little to me, I can't even fucking begin to imagine. It's ridiculous. Trans women should be able to play in women's sports. How about this? For every trans woman that competes in a monetary level, or on a, a collegiate level with, uh, with women. For every trans woman that competes with women, a trans man must also compete with men at the same level and do just as well for them to, for them to be able to compete. I, I mean, are we, are we gonna pretend that this is a reality? Are we gonna pretend that that could possibly happen? No, because it's not realistic. 
I never realized how bad I felt in winter in Canada until I started taking vitamin D regularly. It's fucking, I'm telling you, it's, it makes a huge difference. Uh, what, for fuck's sake, the live yesterday was excellent. I'm glad I caught it. Thank you very much. And they took it down. It's still up on this channel, but they took it down. They took it down for medical misinformation. Because supposedly we said something against what the World Health Organization says, even though all the data I spoke about was on the World Health Organization website. If anybody's a good lawyer and wants to help me sue YouTube and all these other places that have labeled me spreading disinformation when, in fact, I have actually been giving the information and they've been suppressing real information. If you know a good lawyer that wants to do it pro bono, they can take half of the fucking settlement or whatever. I'm down 100 percent, 100 percent down to label me as a fucking to label me as a conspiracy theorist when everything I've said in the last three years has been fucking true. That's fucking slanderous. It, it really is. It's fucking, it's libel. It's slanderous. You say whatever the fuck you want it is. It's ridiculous. It's defamation. It is absolute defamation. To paint me as if I'm some fucking kook when I've been right the entire time, that's defamation. That was a great motherfucking video. Yeah, they took it down. It's on this channel still, but they took it down. Did that vid, uh, vid with her again? Do that vid with her again. We'll record it and keep spreading it. I'm going to, it's still on this channel. Share the fuck out of it. It's still on Twitter. Share the fuck out of it. Um, but uh, please do know that I'm going to likely have her on again at some point in time. I thought, thought it was very good talking to an actual practitioner. <laughs> it was very good talking to an actual practitioner that like literally agreed with every motherfucking thing I said. What I find funny is that one of my coworkers gets a prescription for 5,000 IUs to be taken once a week. Maybe uh, me and two others are like, we take that every day. Yeah, they, they don't know. If I ever get called a birth giver, someone's going to get kicked in the face. Good, good, good. Like, that's the problem. And we're, I'm going to end this on this, I think. Uh, so, so fortunate to have a man in my life. That's Men need to be men. That's the biggest, that's the biggest, that is the biggest pandemic we have is weak ass, pussy ass bitch boys. That really is. Hello, I recently started watching your YouTube videos. Thank you, Gina. I appreciate it. That's the spirit. Let me go there. Yep, the men are becoming weak and some women have decided to protect themselves. Good. Women should women should be able to protect themselves, but men should protect women. Uh, you called obese privilege and the wake up uh, bell finally went off in my ears. Uh, you held up a mirror and showed me my hypocrisy. Thank you, dude. Thank you, bro. Like that, that's, that's fucking, that's super nice to me. I, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Corporation One is fat. They absolutely do. I only care about my kids, my uh, my fiance's mental health. Hell yeah. Alan, what do you do when your cat is being cute and sleeping in your uh, in your lap, and you gotta go to work? I gotta put her down. I mean, it's unfortunate. I gotta put her down. She doesn't tran transport well. They don't let uh, female to male trans compete because they have to take testosterone, which is against the rules for most sports. It's ridiculous. Then they should, that, so that's discrimination. Discrimination. Oh, absolutely. I don't. Uh, I didn't know they took your video down. It was a great conversation. They took it down off of my backup channel, off the Alan Robertson censored channel, which is going to be disappeared because it has two strikes on it now, and they're going to find another video to strike it in any given time. It's still on this. It's still on this channel as of right now, at least. I don't know. Could, we, we'll see. <laughs> I would help you, but I'm only a lawyer on the internet. That's funny. Without your rants to validate, uh, to validate, I think I was crazy. Good for you. But I mean, it's not even rants. I produce data, info, and everything like that. So as a matter of fact, uh, chest feeding. I fucking hate it myself. I hate it, hate it. Okay, so I wanted to do something really, really, really quickly here. I think it's about time we update ourselves on... Uh, on how crazily fucking ridiculous it's all been for the last fucking three fucking years. Three, it's actually longer than three years because they found samples of the vid in the water in August of 2019. So we are literally at at least three and a half years of the vid being in circulation in the United States. At least three and a half years, right? So, in that time frame, 
just so everybody knows, just so, just so, just so we're looking at it. This is the CDC website. Okay. This is comorbidities and conditions. Again, you can see National Center for Health Statistics, right? It clearly says on the CDC website, for over 5% of the, these deaths, the vid 19 was the only cause mentioned on the death certificate. For deaths with conditions or causes in addition to C19, on average, on average, on average, there were 4.0 additional causes or conditions per death. So in total, this is 1,114,629 people as of five days ago that have passed away with the vid, with it, with it. So 1114629 times, and the exact percentage, by the way, if you dig into their data, which I often do, because uh, you can download, you can click download and download the actual data and then you can fucking pull it up. Um, times 0.051%, it's 5.1% is the actual number they're talking about for the over 5% because they got to make it seem like it's higher. Um, so in three and a half years, healthy people with no comorbidities uh, in three and a half years, 56,846 people have passed away. That's horrible. That's tragic. I bet you more people have died from the flu, young and healthy, in that time frame. Uh, but if you also divide that by mm, uh, 3.5 years, that's 16,000 people a year, young and healthy, have passed away from the vid. We destroyed society for this. Um, in this time frame, in three and a half years, roughly, you know, what is it? Two point four five million people have died of cardiovascular disease in America. Um, if I mean, if you re that's that's if you really want to look at it, um, um, obesity has uh, by the by the mid range estimate of the number of people that just die from what is listed as obesity. Uh, that has killed more people. It's 1.225 it's 1.225 million people. Um, so obesity is way deadlier than the vid. Um, cardiovascular disease massively more uh, more deadly than the vid, multiple times over. This does not include type two diabetes. This does not include anything else. And for those of you wondering, this is actually the CDC website. Um, so let's do this one more time, real quick here, too. By the way, so 4,080. This is just one last thing I want to do. 12092-29611 plus 7429 plus Damn it, ADHD is fucking making it hard to fucking do the calculator day. So under, <laughs> under the age of 65, it has been... In 3.5 years, it's been 273,000 people with an average, for the most part, 4.4 comorbidities per person on the average. And by the way, the comorbidity skew, there's more comorbidities listed for the younger the person is because that's why they die from it. Um, if you times that by 0 0.051%, that's 13,939 people under the age of 65 without comorbidities have passed away in three and a half years of the vid. Divide that by 3.5, 
That's 3,982 people a year uh, under the age of 65 with no comorbidities that have passed away from the bid. And that's with them including car accidents and uh, gunshot wounds. I was right. I told you all I was right. And those of you that are still here, thank you for believing in me. All right, so here's one last one last uh, shot at our three-month deal in the 30-minute consultation. Please do check that out. 33% off just for this live. Looking forward to working with all of you. I hope all of you have a great day. I will be back live tomorrow at 11 with Truth Seeker, uh, uh, a lady of the cult goes by the name of Truth Seeker from TikTok and Twitter. She's amazing. Um, I do believe she's in Canada, but she talks a lot. It's going to be a lot more politic and a lot more covid -y. So please do check that out. I might even be 18 and up. I might post it as 18 and up uh, just to make sure that YouTube doesn't give me shit because uh, I don't even care about the money for something like that. I want to get the information out, you know. So I hope all of you have a great goddamn day. Thank you very much for uh, continually, uh, continually uh, showing up and following. I really, really appreciate it. We get anywhere from 200 to 600 people every single day on these lives, which is kind of incredible. Uh, and I'm, uh, is it still possible to buy your books? If so, where? Hang on one second. Of course it is. Here is Beyond Willpower, and you also get a month of our app with it. Boom. You should be able to get this in the description box also, too. Um, but there is Beyond Willpower, and Fuck Being Fat is right here. So please do. Buy a book, get a consultation, do those things. I appreciate all you motherfuckers. I hope you have a great day. God damn.